Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Today's episode of the Mike O'Mara Show is brought to you by our bonus packages. Please go to MikeO'MaraShow.com and click on the bonus banner. You'll get access to all of our bonus content, and even better, you'll be helping out TMOS. So please, quit sucking, and we thank you. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Welcome uh, to the Mike O'Mara Show, ladies and gentlemen. Before we uh, get started with the program, I have a, a brief uh, technical message to the people that were waiting at 9 o'clock Eastern time for our Wide Open Wednesday feature. Unfortunately, uh, let me describe the key piece of hardware that's required to take your phone calls, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dear. That's the sound that it made today. That is the... I, I take it that's what happened to the uh, the thing, right, Oscar? Is that what happened? Uh, it, a full implosion, Mike, and you know what every team has is redundancy. We have another one racked up and ready to go here for our next time we need phones. All right, so that'll be a week from now because yes. We, uh, yes. we dicked around with it for so long that unfortunately uh, we ended up pulling the plug. And I, uh, The second thing I want to do before we bring in our special exciting new guest yes, and new team member for TMOS, yes. I want to show you uh, that. Uh, let me get you a close up on that. That is uh, the Ooh! my five year old's armored car. Now, listen, there are Legos and there are Legos. There are kids that put the Legos together and they go on a shelf. And then uh, I think the majority of children actually take their little Legos and they uh, pirate them from other pieces and they put together their own stuff. And my kid is a whiz at this. So, this is his latest armored car. You'll Does see- he follow the blueprint that comes with it? He does initially, which is amazing because I had to do a couple of those with Robert, and they're not. Yeah. it's not easy. Well, they 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 have them bro- broken down by age now. So uh-huh. uh, so the five year old ones he puts together himself. If they're seven or eight, I help a little bit with is that. Is there one that's and, for like fifty nine plus? Uh, yeah, it's the uh, the elderly Lego set. It <laughs> it's is the Lego the right. Lego wheelchair. <laughs> so you'll notice the exhaust on this. See the flames that are yeah. coming out. Ooh. These exhausts from the uh, the very special fuel that's used. Would be burning the drivers to death <laughs> if you if if you were seeing this. It would burn them to death. The guy in the orange jumpsuit thing. is that a does he have a beard or is his face charred? Uh, that's a bad guy actually. Oh, it's and a it, bad and guy. And he's got the exorcist head because you'll notice his head is pulled around completely backwards. Great day for so video. That's fantastic. Hello, that's, Regan. That's, uh, <laughs> now speaking of, <laughs> oh no, something fell. Oh, off. you fell. Oh, he'll, you can't oh. lose that, Mike. He will not be happy. I know. It's uh, it happens to Legos. It happens to fifty nine. Some people. some people buy Legos and keep them new in box for collector's value, like me. That's what I do. <laughs> but, I have a yellow but, submarine you know, and a Millennium Falcon. He's he's ready to get back to uh, school, and so he's uh, very very uh, animated right now. But uh, he's a wonderful kid. So uh, that's it. I, I apologize for the wide open Wednesday. I apologize for the fact that we weren't able to take your phone calls. Uh, we promise we'll do better next week. I went on Facebook Live. I never go on Facebook Live to 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 goose it was the phone a, it calls was a anymore. To do it was. I was uh, really uh-huh. really excited, and then uh, something happened, and then uh, you know I asked questions about it, and somebody went. Mike, what what uh, what's yeah. important is this is what? that when there is a problem, there there has to be a solution. If not, then yes. you're just doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. We have found a solution. I just got the text from the team in the other studio. They are unracking that, so that'll be fixed right after the program today. No, the solution is that slowly but surely, the Mike O'Mara show, and I'm I'm confident this is going to right the ship, mm-hmm. is going full Latin. Yes. <laughs> Latin? All that. La- oh, we've yes. got two out of three Latino, right now in Latino. studio. The Mike O'Mara show will be going full Latin. <laughs> no, I, I'm not sure and I like that. that. Will be, uh, uh, of course, you don't like that. Well, but no, you I mean, because to it, it's, Mr. Going, Man. it's going to move me to the side. I'm rather Eastern European by nature. <laughs> yeah, well, and I'm not talking about the. Uh, Do you want to segregate car- the studios? I'm not. No. How I'm not you? talking about the. I'm not <laughs> sort talking of about the. <laughs> the carpe diem Latin. I'm talking about Latino, oh, Latino. Oh, okay. okay. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome a new team member who has been on the show briefly. I think ducked in a couple of times, yes. but this is her first formal introduction, mm-hmm. uh, and she is sitting where Oscar normally sits. And I, I am already saying to myself uh, th- that is a tremendous improvement to the room tell in me, general. But <laughs> tell me about it. This, uh, with all all uh, Latin shtick and a good-looking woman shtick aside, this person. 
person is a, a remarkable addition to our team, and uh, her name is Leslie Akendo, and she joins us here. She is the video editor for Podcast Village, mm-hmm. and she also is, does a lot of video editing for the Mike O'Mara Show. She is on the Hey Phrase podcast, and uh, it's it's great to have you here. Leslie, I know you've been uh, working with... How long have you been uh, kind of working around Podcast Village and for the Mike O'Mara Show? Right now, for Podcast Village, around um, four months, and for... TMOS um, are on one month. Yeah, one month. So, yes. And uh, Making Oscar, uh, the, she's, she's kicking ass and taking names with uh, those little <laughs> uh, videos you see, which a, a lot of people, uh, you should look for these on social media. They're the stacked boxes of the, uh, of the video uh, that, that's presented on Facebook. Is it not things. called IGTV? Yeah, IGTV, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and I think what is, I, explain what IGTV is to the people that might not know in our listening audience and the person you're talking to. Instagram TV is an addition to uh, Instagram. And yes. basically, you can actually see um, videos that are full length. Um, usually, Instagram lets you t- watch um, videos around um, one minute. But with IGTV, you can watch until an hour. It all depends on the followers you have. You can watch until um, an hour or 10 minutes. When you started uh, doing this, when did you, because video editing, just like anybody that, right. this is kind of behind the scenes here, but video editing is, I think, this is just my opinion, much like anyone that has an aptitude for painting a picture, mm-hmm. singing right. a song, doing that. When did, I really, I do, I think it's that level of talent and we are very, thank very you, fortunate you. to have you here. When did you realize that uh, that this was something that you had a gift for, that you were really good at? Well, I, um, I'm i a YouTuber, so I started doing videos um, for YouTube, and I started... Oh, we're going to get to that, Leslie. Thank you. We're going to get to your, your, your YouTube channel. That's, that's a plug, though. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, Just that's, putting that's it that's out there. Yes. <laughs> no, what but I mean? started at, um, at YouTube, and basically I learned um, how to like edit and all that stuff by myself, and um, that's where, where I learned that I really liked that. Self-taught? Yeah. Wow. Pretty much. Yeah. And now the YouTube uh, channel that you have, uh, Oscar mentioned to me that, uh, how did he put it? You're not going to believe this YouTube channel. <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, it, it, how, how would you, Leslie Akendo, describe your YouTube presentation to, uh, to the Mike O'Mara Show listeners? And you don't have to speak Spanish, although your YouTube channel is all in Spanish. Right. How would you describe it for, for people tuning in? Well, I have comedy. I have um, vlogs. I well, I think I'm funny sometimes. It's not, you know. <laughs> but I have I have vlogs. I have covers. It's I a have... video blog, Mike. Yes, a vlog. Video yeah. Vlog, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I know what a vlog is. I'm not stupid. I'm no, smart. no one said I'm you were. Smart. You're smart. <laughs> I'm smart. With a V, not yeah. with a B. With right. a V, right? With a V. Yeah, a vlog. Exactly. It is a, a vlog. video where you get you get on and talk about stuff that uh, you know that, that you're into. Yeah. Bas- well, basically, a vlog is when you um, are going to do something fun. So you go out and then you're like, oh, hey, guys, I'm here with the TMOS guys. Mm-hmm. And right. then you're vlogging your whole day, basically. Right. And so, uh, yes, Oscar Santa. I, I, I think you it's it's funny when you when you actually create you you you, would, you essentially do yourself a disservice. because You're like, oh, I'm just doing a vlog. What I found when we were getting to know Leslie is the level of craft and effort that she has built over the past few years is fantastic. She doesn't just talk about what's going on in news of the day. She actually sets up game shows. She sets up, she brings her family into the vlog. She goes yes. on adventures. She goes on, she goes on trips and oh, you talks bring the about family. Them. So tell yeah. you, well, one of the sources of, uh, of joy for everybody on the, the Michael Mary show is talking about our family. In my right. particular case up in here, <laughs> uh, up in, up in Maine, I, uh, I constantly reference the level of disinterest from my own family. Okay. So that's, <laughs> a, and that's a source of much comedy. Tell us about your family. Uh, are you? Are they all in the D.C. area right now? Yeah, they're, they. We all live here. Um, mm-hmm. My dad is actually quite the star in my YouTube channel because um, every friend of mine that has been following me, they're like, "Oh, put your dad more," and I'm like, "Hey, it's my channel. I mean, <laughs> I put him whenever I want, you know." But he's he likes to be on the spot. And there was this time that I had like a little fight with him, and he, I was like, "You're never gonna be on my YouTube channel again because you." can do this to me he didn't want me to 
post a video for the day that was supposed to go on because right. he said something that he didn't want to say on the video. And I'm like, this cannot be, you know, happening again. And then he was like, well, I'm not going to be on your videos. And I'm like, well, you're not going to be on my videos then. And then one the next day I'm recording, he's like, hey, Leslie. And I'm like, hey, I'm recording. Can you please step out? And he's like, no, I want to be in their video. And I'm like, now you want to be on my video? <laughs> how, old, how old is your dad? Just out of curiosity. I think he's like 56. Ah, yes. Yeah. See, that's a, 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 you know, when you start uh, routinely uh, interviewing people who uh, where you're legitimately old enough to be their father, mm -hmm. that makes you feel just really old. Sure. That's just, uh, well. that's just the way that. You know. But he's no, anyway. too young. Yeah, you know. uh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate that. You're welcome. So are we, do we have a clip of uh, We have Leslie's? actually three clips. I watched three of your vlogs, and okay. I didn't understand a damn thing. <laughs> well, you're not because you don't speak Spanish. <laughs> However, I was able to pull sort of key points. So these are the three okay. that I have audio from you Perfect. went to uh, the Dodgers versus the Nationals right that was one of them one of them was called well, let me stop you there because I that's the one I looked at and the energy level was you were excited striking to going to right. the Dodgers Nationals game do you do you uh as far as you were wearing Dodger blue in of this uh, particular uh, video so are you you said of course uh do you have uh connections to LA I mean I love the, LA uh, I mean I've never this is quite weird because I've never been to LA but it's one of my dreams so I'm like all about LA you're just all about in. LA just yeah. bought into LA <laughs> yeah the teams yes. the lifestyle everything okay right. yeah right. also I have a one called I make money moves Oh, yeah, that's when I was hired by Podcast Village. Oh, very good. All right. Oh, you see, that makes so much sense now <laughs> after having watched it. Okay. Right. Well, well what did, can you, Rob, can you describe? Because we're going to hear a lot of Spanish and for the. Uh, There's a lot of high energy. Non Spanish. And we have Spanish speaking, a significant amount of Spanish yeah. speakers in our and audience. Look at the latest but, census. And the, a third, yeah. and the third vlog I pulled is, is called Transformation Story. Now, does that have your father in it? No, that's just me. Oh, it's talking just you. about okay. when I was, you know, young and. So what happened is when I they, they oftentimes start with a scream and 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 a lot of jump cuts and there's a lot of action and right. excitement and you yell. Should I should I play some music to uh, set this uh, segment? Up? I think I'm that might be nicer. Eso. Nice. <laughs> Or we, you know, or oh, we could do okay. this. You know, <laughs> so I will start with the one that is called I Make Money Moves. Oh, this one. I forgot about this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, but I want some salsa. I, yeah. Uh, salsa. Very good. Yeah. Very, Let's very start exciting. with this. I think this starts with a very energetic beginning, if I remember right. Hola, mis loques. ¿Cómo están? Yo soy Leslie. Y por fin les puse un nombre a esta familia de YouTube llamados Loques. Díganme en los comentarios a todos si les gustó. Y si eres nuevo en mi canal, te doy la bienvenida a la Loque Family. Loque Family. No sé por qué hice right, eso. Stop it for a second. What, what the hell's going on there? What are all those oh, sound I'm effects? Saying, <laughs> I'm just saying that I gave them a, a name. The Her Loques. fan base. Her yeah. fan base is called the Loques. Exactly. The, the, the what? The Loques. Loques like rhymes with Tukas? Locus. Locus. As Leslie Oquendo. <laughs> oh, okay. Oscar, you're going to have to help me here. Uh, yeah. Well, no, Lucas. she's come up. You know how we have, um, frankly, our P1s? Yeah. Yes. She has for her the fans and the subscribers to her vlog, she's right. come up with a name for that fan base. Oh, okay. That's, that's, I get it. That's All a right. mix between her uh, first name and her last that's, name. That's, right. the first, yes. that's the first. That's the first sign. It's going wide. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go viral, baby. Thank that's you. the Thank way you. it's gonna happen. Yes, sir. Yes. The look is taking over the world. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't understand that from that clip. I don't. It, it was, was so clear. Did you understand? I love you. I like not a word. Not a word. Oh, okay. Not a word. Then <laughs> don't blame it on my. <laughs> But anyways, vamos a empezar con este video porque tengo muchas cosas que contarles. I will applaud you. I like that about every hundredth word is in English. And that okay. keeps me interested because you'll say like, anyways. And I'm like, oh yeah, I got that. I can do that. All right. Ahí estamos dando un update de lo que está pasando en mi vida en estos momentos. Como ya todos Wait, saben, here. al graduarme y mudarme para los Estados Unidos... This is my. I hope that I. I hope that my ignorance is is not. Uh, is not going to weigh the show down here. But I have okay. to tell you what this reminds me of. When I was in New York and we were doing uh, the shows at WNEW in New York, we had a car service every day. It was one of the real perks it was. of uh, of doing the show. We they put us up in a hotel and we get a car service and the car service was exclusively 
Dominican. These guys were, uh, I just loved these guys. And they would have morning radio shows on that were Dominican radio shows. And I didn't understand a word, mm-hmm. but it was exactly with the, with the, ling It was like the old morning zoo show. Yeah, exactly. This, right. uh, this reminds me, but let's listen to uh, some more with the sound. Desde ese entonces he estado buscando un trabajo y nada se me daba. Sin embargo, gracias a mi gran, gran, gran amigo Hugo, conseguí hacer un internado. Big friend. Gran amigo. Hold on, stop it right there. I'm not, because you gotta, I can only deal with so much of it. Let me tell you this. I, so, gran, gran, gran amigo is good, good, good friend. Yeah. Oh, ah, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, there you go. Ding, 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 but uh, buenos dias, children. My name is Senor <laughs> Williams. Uh, it was just, uh, I'll never forget Senor Williams. He was my Spanish. May I switch to the, uh, the vlog called Transformation Story? Because that one has the beginning that I think was my favorite. Okay. There was a, there was a very exciting beginning to it. Para mi lo que es, como está? Yo soy Leslie, para los que no me conocen. Y si no me conoces, te invito a que te suscribas a mi canal. Le des a la campanita para que te lleguen todas las notificaciones. Y así puedas ver todos los videos que subo todos los lunes. <laughs> Bueno, cuando, cuando lo subo <risa> Es que a veces tú sabes, como que uno se pone como que tan estresado Y tiene muchas cosas en la vida que no puede subir videos todos los días Y bueno, pues yo lo estoy diciendo porque Y en el día de hoy estar hablando de un transformation story O de un story time O de una historia de transformación O de no sé qué rayo Para que ustedes conozcan un poquito story más de mí time. Y es que yes. sé que he estado haciendo muchos vlogs estas semanas pasadas Pero es que hoy dije Yo voy a hacer un story time para todos mis vlogs Porque ellos se merecen conocer un poco más de... That's Me. the most Spanish that's ever been spoken Ow. on the Mike O'Mara show. Maybe in the yes. world. Right. Are you? Do you fancy yourself as the... Who's the one my daughters used to uh, watch all the time? Uh, is he is Spanish? It, uh, no, it's not Spanish. Oh, okay. Je, but uh, Jenna Marble... Is oh, it Jenna, Jenna Marbles, Marbles yeah. Yes. Jenna Marbles. Do you know who Jenna Marbles is? I do not. I know who ah, Leather Bonds is. In the same vein, though. You're is right. In the same yeah. vein? It's, mm-hmm. like the, the same uh, vein. it's like the Spanish version mm-hmm. of Jenna Marbles there with that. Then, so, yes. Bingo. All right. All right. Jenna so you Marbles. Have the, the, you Jenna. have the family. You're, you're on the Sarah Phrase, uh, yep. Hey Phrase right. podcast with that. You're doing all this video editing at Podcast Village now because we have you on the studio. That, that's the easy part. Now it's all about you. Okay. Now it's all about you. You are how old? I am 25 years old. 25 years old. Are you uh, married, f- engaged, no, boyfriend? No, I'm single. You're single? Yes. And uh, is, there, is, is there any significant other in your life right now? Not right now. I think I'm pretty um, focused right now. So, Doing the video presentation, do you have a... I would imagine, because you are a tremendously good-looking person, thank you, thank do you, you have people that actually will uh, contact you and propose marriage at all? Will that ever happen? Yes, I, wow! Whoa. That was a confident yes. I mean, yes, uh, and man. some a lot, other. There are a lot of men out there that probably would like to date you that watch you on this uh, on this vlog, right? Yeah, you? Vastric. Uh, to oh, be no. honest, you spent no, a lot of time true. deleting uh, messages and comments under your vlogs. I would think Not you really. might. Okay. Not really, but right. I like my whole audience is um, male. So. Sure. <laughs> oh really? It's it's all it's all I don't male. Know why. Yeah. Oh, you don't I don't know, know why? why either. I have no idea. I have no. I, I, can you run some sort of study on that, Oscar? Maybe we can help yeah, figure we'll, that run out. Some metrics. Yeah, please. Yes, thank you. So, so uh, and this is because you uh, work behind the scenes. Uh, have you ever heard or been witness to one of my rave outs, my rants, my uh, my meltdowns? Have you? Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, okay. when- <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know. Okay. Right, just, the, the, yeah, trash the, video, right? the trash can one was amazing. The trash can one was amazing. I mean, okay, no, sorry, yeah. no, it was a, the, the, the printer. printer. printer yeah, yeah, the printer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. I just, uh, you know, I just uh, want to make sure that I guess you've seen the behind the scenes. Of course, and, uh, of course. So uh, now, as far as the uh, Mike O'Mara show is concerned, I wouldn't mind if you, uh, you know, we've discussed me. You see me on camera, but you work with Rob and Oscar on a daily right. basis. I would like to get your the the Leslie Akendo. Uh, impressions of first of all, Mr. Rob Spiewak. What can uh, what What are your impressions of Rob? Spiewak? This is going to go. What do you really What do you really, what do you really think of Rob Spiewak? What I really think of Rob, mm-hmm. he's 
he's funny. He's outgoing. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. he his laugh is very funny as well. And I mean, but with that, Oscar is competing because they both laugh very funny. But it's, different, yeah. separate but equal. Yeah, but right. I don't know. They both laugh. Funny. He's funny. <laughs> I don't know why I hit that. I know why I you know hit know why that. Why you know why? Because in high school, when a kid was funny, he was at home on prom night <laughs> writing jokes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thought she might like my glasses. I don't know. And what about uh, what about Oscar? Oscar, he is everywhere all the time. He's like here, but he's over there, and then you know it's very hard to get uh, hold of him. But you mm -hmm. know he's there. You know, okay. you have right. to like tie him down and say, "Hey, I want to talk to you." No, he's scary. That's, that's it's so exciting. true, though. Yeah, it's so true. I think when I onboard like anybody, too. when I onboard yeah. people, I say, "Look, you're gonna have to find me. I will do something for you. Just gotta find me. You gotta let me know. You gotta put me down in front of a computer if you want something bought for the studio. Tell me what you need. We'll get there eventually." Yeah. And how long have you been working with uh, Sarah Fraser? Because she's one of my favorite Sarah, people in the building. Um, around nine months. Oh, so you've had, so all this is brand new. Yeah, all yeah. this is uh, this is really really new. It and, happened uh, through Sarah. Yes, uh, this is great. This is yes. wonderful. And uh, well, look what happened with you and Sarah Robs. Exactly, you got on HBO <laughs> because of that. Yeah, show business. She's the golden woman. She golden is. Goose. Yeah, she brings everyone along with her and raises well, the, all um, the show. I would I would like to extend this offer to you, Leslie Akendo. Okay, Thank you. because not only is this show always. And I mean always in need of a woman's perspective. Okay. You don't ever have enough of that. Well, you have but me. I, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> for the baking. For the baking. You shouldn't but, say it like that then. I know. I know. But I would love to get a Latina's perspective on the show, too. And more specifically when it comes to Oscar. You know, and because okay. Oscar, you know, and, and, uh, have you spoken Spanish to uh, to Oscar I, on any basis? I, I mean, talk basis Spanish. So. Actually, I love yes, that. Actually, yes, but I, um, sometimes he, I teach him as well. He teaches Yeah, me. because yeah. he's, yeah. let me ask you this, and I, now I need you to be brutally honest. Okay. He's not going to get mad. Uh, he's terrible mad. at speaking his um, uh, in Spanish. I, see, I, I, I offer I a counterpoint. That, I don't think he's terrible. I think he's adorable when he speaks Spanish. <laughs> It's the cutest thing in the world because he puppy. really he really thinks he can. Right. I mean, he he does make sense what he's saying in Spanish, but he has this ac this American accent, and it's like, uh, oh, we're, well, you you speak Spanish, you know, you're just, just speak English too, right? Stop but. trying. Gringo. Now you, uh, so you grew up? Did you grow up in a? a I forgot. I've always asked in you Puerto Rico. Spanish. She's, uh, she's yeah. like you're from Puerto Rico. Yeah, I'm from Puerto Rico, born and raised. Oh. I moved okay, when I was 20 years old here. So. Oh, wow. oh, so you okay? So you were raised in a Spanish-speaking environment, yeah. and yes. uh, where now? When you were uh, on the island, did you? Uh, is that where you learned your English, or did you pick most of it up when you moved here at 20? Well, my mom is an English teacher, and I always ah. wanted to move here to Florida. You know, <laughs> but then um, she was telling me, oh, I'm not going to move out there if you never learn English. And I'm like, well, OK. So I started watching Disney Channel and I watch Disney Channel here and every way, every day, every day. So I learn and I learn and I learn. And one day we came here for like vacations and someone started talking to me in English and I started like replying to them in English. And my mom was like, well, look at you. And I'm like, well, I'm, I'm ready to move. When are we moving? Wow. That is so cool. You know, if I can get serious for a second, because I think it's important whenever I speak to anybody. Okay. Uh, we have a uh, just a tremendous friend of our family who has been, uh, she refers to my son, Michael, as her extra grandchild. And her name is uh, oh. Carmen Stoffel, and she's down in Fort Myers, Florida. And uh, our, our family legitimately loves this woman. And she has been such a great friend of ours. And, uh, you know, when, when I, I meet someone from Puerto Rico, you have to ask about Maria and last year oh. and what's happening and a tremendous amount of uh, people left Puerto Rico to move to, to mm -hmm. Florida and yeah. uh, that that uh, that had to be an incredibly uh, difficult situation what is the uh, what was your take you, you were already here obviously when uh, when Maria hit but you must have family and friends that are still in Puerto Rico uh, that are that are still dealing with that I would yes. imagine right Actually, um, when Maria happened, it was very um, like new that I moved here because I when I was when I moved here, I moved back to Puerto Rico to finish my bachelor's in mm -hmm. marketing, and then right. the next year it's when Maria happens, and I'm like, wow, like I I didn't experience that, but my whole family, like still my mom's family side, she like they were without communication for a week like we wouldn't know anything about them um there's still people in puerto rico that are struggling with um power 
um, mm-hmm. and that are struggling. You know, like Puerto Rico, it's going to rise up again, but it, it needs more than just, you know, mm-hmm. help. You know, mm-hmm. it needs more help. Yeah, and, yeah it's, um, it's it a very, was, very difficult situation. And I think recently, of course, the the numbers as far as the people that we lost and that. What do you think that was? I mean, I hate to ask you a heavy question about Puerto Rico. Is it because of the topography of the island where there's so many remote areas and there's so many mountainous areas there in Puerto Rico? Is that why you think the uh, the death toll and the fact that people weren't it weren't reported? Uh, it took so long. What's the why did that happen? I'm I'm very confused about that because being a small island, I would have thought that they would have had a better handle on. Do you have any idea why that might have gone down? I'm sure you talked to people about it. Well, to be honest, um, Puerto Rico, there's a lot of a lot of places that are not well developed. Like right. they live like that's, we say campo. How mm. can you say that in English? Uh, rural. Yeah, that's. Backward. Like, yeah. So that, like that rural place, they're not as developed as other places in Puerto Rico. So and it's they were harder. the people that were most hard hit probably yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. And um, so it's harder to actually reach out to them and all that stuff. And when FEMA goes to Puerto Rico, they, when they were in Puerto Rico, they were in these rural places, but they weren't actually getting to the people that needed help. So um, I was there because I went like a month later that um, when Maria ha- um, happened in Puerto Rico and we were here in the United States recollecting um, donate um, donations so you to went Puerto to Puerto Rico. Rico after Maria so I went after a month um, of Maria happening what was in Puerto that Rico. like going what was and that was, flying in there what was that like I was I mean, crying experience I was crying yeah. because I've never seen Puerto Rico that way and right. we actually went to rural places to where actually like no one has gone before and then when we were going down FEMA was like hey um, we are just you know want to know where can we go because we don't know exactly where the people at and um, we were like well then this is your job you know but we would give him you know direct we would give them direction and stuff like that for where to go but still like i know that they wouldn't be able to go because they're not from there you know mm-hmm. and like gps is in puerto rico they're not the best because you can end up in some place that you weren't actually looking for mm-hmm. um and it's very it's very difficult because puerto rico um we're part of the united states but at the same time we're not so um we have that problem and then you know the government here they don't want to help as well and it's pretty hard it's pretty hard but you know we will rise up again well you got uh, anytime you want to do anything with that uh and i mean this sincerely uh because i didn't know you were from puerto rico and anytime you want to do anything where uh it'll help the people of puerto rico um you know you're welcome to come into the show and we will you know raise money we will ask for donations i think it's extremely important to keep uh puerto rico out there and uh, in people's minds and we can do a teeny little bit on this show i think that would be fantastic Thank and uh, it's really really great to have you you're doing great with the uh, videos for this show it's always nice to get new people in here and uh, it's very exciting this new video venture that we're all yes. a part uh, of may and, i add if you're out yes. there and you're listening to um the show and you're a fan and you're on Instagram, or even if you're not, make an Insta- Instagram account. It's super easy. It's through your Facebook account, and follow the Mike O'Mara show. All these Please. videos, and we're going to put those videos up on uh, on the other social media. They platforms are, but as they well. all they all live on IGTV and Instagram initially. That that's where they start off. And for us as a program, we should have thousands of of people that follow our Instagram. Mm-hmm. Okay. So mm-hmm. Mike yeah. O'Mara show, you'll see it, you'll find it, and share, share, follow. share, yeah. share, and, and uh, follow. Oscar, have I left anything out with the, the oh, wonderful I think we got, uh, Leslie uh, Akendo? All, all the the wonderful sides of Leslie. She was able to come in here, make you guys laugh, insult all of us, and then move on. Exactly. A typical TMOS guest. Job <laughs> well done. And uh, in uh, if you wouldn't mind, and I ask Oscar to do this, he never does it because he doesn't like to speak Spanish. You have no problem speaking Spanish. Uh, one promotional statement for the Mike O'Mara Show. Get everybody out there, the Spanish-speaking audience, to listen to the Mike O'Mara Show. You're on, Leslie. Hit it. Take okay. it away. Si te gusta reír, si te gusta pasarla bien, tienes que escuchar el show de Mike O'Mara. Te prometo que no te vas a arrepentir. Wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> you're welcome. You're she, welcome. <laughs> yeah. She said I'm the best looking guy in the world. Anyway, uh, yeah. thank you, <laughs> Leslie. Uh, and also, uh, we would like regular updates on. Uh, you know, on, on everything in your life. Okay, okay? perfect. As far as, because it, it's, a, uh, uh, Sarah Fraser was the first person to tell me about you and how funny and smart you are. And then when the video thing came out, we're delighted and we're happy to have you on the team. Leslie Akendo, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank hey, you. Do you hear that noise? That's the sound of my father running to a bookstore to buy a Spanish American dictionary. Oh, yeah. That, now you just made me throw up in my mouth. Start the damn show. Thank you very much.
It's the Mike O'Mara Show. You can listen to the Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Mike O'Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. We're doomed to repeat history channel. Let's go kill these dudes. I didn't cry for no reason. Okay, so what are we looking at here? This is the Burglar Buster. It's basically the Eliminator from American Gladiators, mixed with all the cool laser parts from Entrapment. You know, the Catherine Zeta-Jones vehicle? Yeah, it's a classic. But how do we know this is going to work? Because it was designed by the best. Catherine Zeta-Jones, she dips beneath lasers. Ooh. I'll get on the PA to get their attention. Then, using Adam as bait, we lure them through our gauntlet. First up, the laser jungle. What's that supposed to do? Physically, nothing. But mentally, total destruction. Ooh, I like that! Then, Adam triggers the water jug pendulums of death, driving them into our ethernet which, you guessed it, is a net of Ethernet cables. And if these guys happen to be Super Shredder status and get through all of that, then I'll be there with our last line of defense. Just plain old sharpened broomsticks. Just like that scene in Braveheart. <laughs> this is Wade Byard, the public information officer for Loudoun County Public Schools. The Mike O'Mara Show has decided to start now. Please make all necessary arrangements to listen. This is The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, and Oscar Santana. And now, without further delay, here's Mike O'Mara. From our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., in the Podcast Village Studios, welcome to The Mike O'Mara Show! The Mike O'Mara Show, or TMOS to our friends, is a worldwide radio show and podcast with a loyal following of listeners who get it. And if you're listening right now, you do, too. TMOS, always ready to hear from you. Well, we'd be lying if we said that. Or ready. We're not necessarily always ready to hear from we're you. We're ready. We're just uh, not prepared. We're, thank you. Uh, anyway, uh, Wide Open Wednesday will return next week mm-hmm. with uh, your phone calls. I would like to sincerely apologize for that machine blowing up. There was nothing really we could do. We determined that late in the game that, uh, you know, you, you fire it up, you test it, it's fine. You start the show, kaboom, it doesn't work, and that's all there is to it. We love our audience participation, so please let us hear from you. All over the world, the Michael Mary Show is on now and brought to you by Sleep Number. Here's a fact, Jack. <laughs> if you don't get a good night's sleep, your tomorrow will suffer. Oh. Ooh. Mm. To be your best, you need your best night's sleep. You need a sleep number bed. I love mine. The new sleep number 360 smart bed is designed to help you achieve a better quality sleep. There has never been a better time to come to a sleep number store where all beds are on sale during the biggest sale of the year. The sleep number 360 smart bed lets you choose the comfort and support that's right for you. It adjusts on each side so it's the perfect bed for couples. And the new sleep number 360 smart beds are amazingly comfortable. They sit your every move and automatically adjust so you keep sleeping blissfully through the night. Does your bed do that? I think not. (laughs) My sleep number setting is a uh, 90. No, it's an 85. I went back to an 85. Carla's is now a 70. She tweaked hers up a little bit and we love it. Come in during the biggest sale of the year where all beds are on sale plus save 40% on the new sleep number 360 limited edition smart bed now through Sunday. You'll only find sleep number at any of the 550 sleep number stores nationwide. Just visit sleepnumber.com slash TMOS to find the store near you and tell them that Mike O'Mara sent you. That was a lot of fun, Oscar. I love bringing Leslie Akendo in here and, uh, She's really helping us with the video presentation on the show. We are just growing, and it's exciting, and it's fun, and I love that. But with that said, I do have to say this. Leslie Akendo is a very, very good-looking person, (laughs) and I felt like I was in a minefield. I felt like... I felt like in at one I could uh, I, there are two things that were burning in my brain during that interview. Okay, what's that? Number one is well, number one is the climate that we live in now. Sure. That I have yes. to be extremely careful about what I say. You too, and Mike. Number, 
And number two, for two reasons, because the Me Too movement, and it's real and I support it. And it's just it's a climate on the air where you you just it's not what we used to do back in the go go 80s with, uh, you know, hey, how you doing, man? Hey, where'd you get that? Dress? Yes, you re- woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and the other thing and the reason I de- the reason I asked her how old her father was, was to discipline me. I, I, because yeah, I wanted to make sure. Keep in mind, you asked yes. before, before you asked that. You asked how old she was, and that's when I went, "Okay, careful, uh, let's okay, be careful." I, yeah, but, but you know, no, I that met was Carla just when ju- she was nineteen. Stop it! And she's no, 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 me. no, no, that's it's not, not what I true. meant. No? That is not oh. true. He's rewriting history. <laughs> you are fake despicable. news. <laughs> that is despicable. <laughs> Have you seen Modern this Family? Is, you know, stop it, please. You're going to be you Sophia Vergara. We could have a kid named Manny. That is, that is, that is, it's terrible, terrible, terrible. But you can't listen. Here it is. Look, this is delicate. It is this delicate. This is delicate. But very at delicate. the same time, and she's listening to us right now, probably. Yes. Yeah, I would think This so. is very, this is delicate. You cannot have someone with her looks. No, it's, it's, it, we're, we are. Uh, this is hard even talking about it after Why don't the you fact. tell us what you really mean? You're doing a good job, old timer. No, no but I'm an old, but the reason, shut up, both of you. The, hello? Wait a minute. We got to take a break anyway. We, we're super late. Oh, do but hold on. The, wait, wait. Oh, All stop, right. Stop Let me compose music. myself. Please. Let me just, uh, yeah, You're, play the goddamn okay, okay. music. What? what? You need to get a hold of yourself. You need to lock it That's up. That's the last thing you need to up. do. Your wife one listens of the reasons, to this show. Your, what, your one daughters of the reasons, listen to this show. One of the reasons I asked... About her father was so, uh, you know, I could it bring home the fact that, you know, I am a 59 year old man interviewing a 25 year old person. That's who's right. Y- y- younger than, than uh, you know, young, really, it's my daughter's age. By the way, the math there, right. 34 years is the difference. Okay, Rob. Thanks a lot. We're going to take a break. We'll come back with more fun and we'll just get our act together on the Michael Merritt. Rob Mayer here from the Rob and Joe Show. You know, with having Rob Spiewak on the network, I could admit that it gets a little confusing. Rob and Joe, is that Rob Spiewak? Is that Rob Mayer? So, in order to end all the confusion, I will change my name to something, well, that won't be as confusing. So, from now on, you can call me Jack Diamond. <laughs> it's the JD and Joe Show. New episode every single week. JD. Thank you. Thanks, JD. <laughs> Jack Diamond. Welcome back to the uh, Mike O'Mara Show. That just got me, Rob Mayer. Uh, this segment of the program brought to you by our friend Alex Papp. Hey, Northern California, are you renting? Don't be a rube. I'll be a rube. Do you think Alex would mind if I did the entire uh, spot for his uh, wonderful realty firm in uh, the Hannibal Lecter voice? I think he'd love it. Why not? Let me say now is the time to buy a home. Analysts predict that interest rates will rise by the end of the year, so right now is the best time to buy. And Alex, love your suit. <laughs> Invest in your future and let Alexander <laughs> Pack show you how. See, Alex was in the home and uh, it showed that he staged the home. As a matter of fact, some might say that he'd done things with the home. <laughs> Alexander makes it easy from finding a perfect home to writing an aggressive offer, working through home inspections, and even finding... You a great lender. <laughs> lender. Break up and find your dream home. Alexander Papp is rated five out of five stars on Zillow, Trulia, and Realtor.com. Alex is ready to answer any questions, but let me give you the phone number before it's too late, Clarice. 916-276-2129. Hey, Alex, uh, how do you like the spot Mike did for you the other day? Well, he was uh, he was doing the spot in the voice of a serial killer. That was very exciting. <laughs> That's 916-276-2129 to find your next home today. Alexander Papp is licensed in the entire state, but focuses exclusively on Northern California. From Marysville to Grass Valley, from Granite Bay to Folsom, and everywhere in between. So stop renting. Call Alex the NorCal Realtor today. 916-276-2129. BRE 0198-6031. Prado Real Estate. And remember... Alex sells a house for you, or you buy a house from Alex, you get a Rob Spiewak fruitcake, and maybe Alex will have you over for dinner. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why well I did done. that. Hey, his next commercial, will you day. do as uh, Jodie Foster, but in the Clarice voice? 
Dr. Alexander Papser. <laughs> Alexander Papser. <laughs> yes. Dr. Papser. Yes. <laughs> Quid pro quo, Alexander Pap. Quid pro quo. <laughs> yes. Um, that was yeah, awesome. Right. So, Started anyway. as sort of a bad joke at the police okay, office. Okay, what you were saying about Leslie. Yes. Oh, dear. You reset. Like, yeah, yeah, what I was going to say about Leslie, first of all, she's charming. She's wonderful. She's got a tremendous amount of energy. I did not know anything about Leslie before she came into the show. I knew that she worked with uh, Hey Fraze, and uh, and I, you know how I feel about Sarah Fraser. She's fantastic. And then Oscar uh, mentioned that we've got this person that does video editing. She's very talented, and she's going to help us out with video. And I said, yes, let's do that and then the real good stuff happened because all the stuff that she's producing for us is very very well done amazing we're very excited about having her on the team and then it was time to bring her in and then she comes in and uh you know she first of all she dressed like she was going on the tonight show yeah which was really terrific and uh and then it was uh, it was onward and upward but i ju- i realized that i don't do those i don't interview pretty people very often no <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm telling the truth. If we you know, go back, for, and- hey, 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 hold on. Let me just say, Dan O'Brien exception to the rule. Of course. If you go All back right. through your career, your storied career, and yes. you have you've had many. How old a fart did I just sound like? I don't interview pretty people well, anymore. Mike, what really dated you is when you said she was dressed like she was going on to the Tonight Show. You could go back. <laughs> Through the history, well, Mr. I mean, Carson will see you now. No, but no, but she was re- she she She's came beautiful. in in a dress yeah. and she looked wonderful, and it was very nice to have her on. But I realized that uh, the whole career of DJs interviewing like movie stars and people that were red skinettes and mm-hmm. stuff like oh god, it was always so weird. It was always so awkward because the DJs were like, hey hey hey, how you doing, Bernie here? Boy, look at that, yes sir, you're tall. Oh, How'd you God. get to be so tall? Ooh, yes, sir. No, you're a DJ and you're short and fat. Now, That's why. Through your right. storied career, and you had a lot of people, you've met a lot of stars and famous yes. people. Can you recall any particular uh, female that was so striking that it was hard to interview her because of the actual physical beauty? Never. At a boy. Yeah, never, never. I've always let me been rephr- a pro. Let me rephrase it. I've then. always been a pro. The most beautiful and striking person you've ever met in studio. Anne Ramsey. Oh, yeah! <laughs> no, she didn't come in the studio. I think we had her on the phone. That was it. I don't remember. I mean... Can I help you a little bit within this Well, you can help dynamic? me, but I just, let me just get this out of okay, the way. Okay, because you've been going Back in 10 in different the day, directions. <laughs> okay, you go ahead. Okay. You, I don't trust you, but go oh. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Mike, I want the record to reflect I tried. I know you did. I really I know. did. Let, let, I'm doing okay, right? Yeah, you're doing I mean, great. You're, you're, come but on. Let's see what this next this question is. is. This is... <laughs> This is a window into your soul, Michael Mara. I think that every, we can all be honest with ourselves and be self-aware enough to say, yes, when an attractive male or female comes in, yeah, it's it's a little different, especially yes. in the studio. Mm-hmm. It's a different energy. Yes, yes, different energy. I think we can also be honest with ourselves here in, stu- in studio and in our remote studio in Maine right now where Mike is, that none of us in this room or in the, except for the man who is in Maine ever thought about, hmm, let me clarify that this woman can't be my wife by asking how old she is. Which was interesting to me because I was like, this man at 59 thinks he has another run at any beautiful woman that comes through, which I that love the confidence. I don't understand n- it, but I love you, the confidence. You know, even on Gust me. Oscar's scale, <laughs> nothing could be further away from the truth. Even on his skewed scale, that was a miraculously worded statement. That was because, a, I mean, really, is, it started is, out as this, is, and then he finished with... a minefield and then that he said, I'm not going to venture into. I think you tuned out of because of anger before the end when he said he admires your confidence. <laughs> Yes. So in a way, he Stop turned it, it into a comma. You're such a dick. Uh, she is such a yeah. <laughs> F you. F you. Uh, but anywho, uh, it was nice. It was nice a, that she came by, isn't it? It was. It was interesting. <laughs> it was fantastic. No, it's always nice, and we've got, uh, you know, it, it's it's just, uh, I don't know what to say anymore. I don't really know what to say. But welcome to the uh, TMOS yes. uh, team, and we're very, very Substance excited. and beauty, and Mike. Give us that Instagram thing one more time as I digest those horrible things <laughs> you said about me. Uh, what, uh, what, do, what do people want to do? They want to go so to Instagram. The majority of our audience has... 
the it's gram. A, a Facebook account. Rob likes yeah. To hey, hit they, me up on the gram. Some may have a Twitter okay. account, and some I would say would have an Instagram account. We right. all, I think, we have saturated Facebook. If if you have an Instagram account and you're not following the Michael Mara show, you should. Because quite frankly, we are putting the time, as you can see, building the team in order to create content there. Yes. And you will find content there that you won't find in other places. Now, you'll find it on your Facebook because we share it there, but you will get it first on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So subscri- uh, follow oh, our man. Instagram channel. What's the matter, Mike? Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. I just, uh, my daughters are all over the gram, okay? They're all over Instagram, and I'm sure. not going to say the gram. So it's just, uh, you know. Because that you, makes you think of Lindsey Graham, doesn't it, when you uh, say yes, that? Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Lindsey Graham. Nice to see you. I'm That's on right. Lindsey Graham. That's my new my daughter, social media. I got Bobcat. Oh, okay. 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 What, what, well, what? I maybe I said no. Just uh, no. no. I don't want to talk about. What's wrong? You can't just do wanna... that to us, uh, Oscar. It, think it just... through. I think you know what's happening. There's some pictures. There's some pictures that are uh, you know they're not uh, dirty, but they're they're definitely uh, a little edgy. So uh, you know, and and I don't know what they're putting up there. So sometimes when I see that, but my inner father comes out, and I'm having a really conflicted day today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's a nice picture of Bobcat. I follow Bobcat. Mike, Goldway. follow the Is it edgy? Mar- follow your own show, Mike. Okay, hold on just a second. Is it a tasteful and, uh, nude of Bobcat? Why don't you just behave yourself? Okay. Right? Uh, let me just uh, put this Rob, in Rob, I here. need you to get on the gram. I get right I'm on the gram Oscar right now. F. Santana. Please follow me. Also, right. follow Mike O'Mara. Follow the show, Mike O'Mara Show. If you, if you want, uh, and you're on YouTube, if you're not subscribed to the Mike O'Mara Show channel, do so. You can also subscribe. All right, I'm following it. As well. I'm following it. There you go. Follow back. What does follow back mean? Well, if they're following you, then we're probably following you through the account. Just oh. hit follow back, and you're good to go. My kids yelled at me all about right. my Instagram this weekend. Well, look, we all have to step up our game. That's a, that's a we do. A we, we we talked about known that fact. before the show. Yeah. We're, we're all going to do that. This is this show has been a tremendous amount of work for me today. I just want you to know that uh, we we have to take another break, don't we? <laughs> We should. Do we? Or, yes. or are we on time? Are we on? Can we? Well, can, uh, we're about but, six minutes late. It would be an ideal time to take a break. Perfect time to break. All right. When we come back, I want to talk about a television program, and I'm doing it again, and I apologize, but I'm going to give you a recommendation on a television show that has been around since 2013. I'm sorry. I recently <laughs> discovered it. Hey, it holds it's up, new to and you, it's you, Mike. great. It's fine, yes. Mike. And you. Everyone should be watching Barney Miller. <laughs> it has... <laughs> It has a combination of education and entertainment that I really, really dig. And cool. my wife and I are addicted to it. Oh. I'll tell you about it when we come back on the Michael Marriage. Hi, this is Rob. And hello, this is Sharon. I'm his real-life mother. Every year, we get together and make our delicious signature holiday fruitcakes. They really are special. What makes them so special? Is it the top quality ingredients, the fresh spices, or is it the love and care that goes into each and every one? No, idiot. It's the booze. Thanks, Mom. And up until now, it was virtually impossible to get your hands on one of these fruitcakes. But not anymore. Introducing TMOS Fruitcake Futures. This is the year that you can get your hands on a signature Rob Spiewak fruitcake. Carefully baked and lovingly packaged for home delivery. Order now and it will be in your mouth in time for the holidays. Moist and delicious and packed with exotic fruits, a magical blend of three kinds of nuts. And with three different tiers of fruitcake purchase, you can select the package that's perfect for you. And of course, it makes a great gift. Just go to tmosfruitcake.com or click the fruitcake banner on the TMOS website. Buy now and get ready for the hap hap happiest holidays ever. Buy a fruitcake because mother told you to. Two days. Welcome two back. days. Two oh, days. two days left. That's right. Two days left for the fruitcakes, people. Two days. Two. Two. Uh, you got two days, and I'm. We're not. Listen, I've I've read not a couple a trick. of the posts. We're not doing it. We're not playing a game. We're doing. We're cutting it off in two days because we have to get everything lined up, up so so that we can tee the thing up and get them out to you on time. We we don't want to mess that up and. That's the reason we're doing it. So you get yes. two days to get two your fruitcake. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. I'll say it right now. I hate doctor's offices. Yes. That's why I love 4 Forhims.com is a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men. You never have to waste time waiting in a doctor's office. Did you know 66% of men lose their hair by age 35? True. Well, <laughs> thanks to science, baldness can be optional. 4 connects you with real doctors and medical-grade solutions to treat hair loss. These are real prescriptions backed by science. No nonsense, no waiting rooms, no awkward doctor visits. 
Just answer a few questions, the doctor reviews it, and the prescriptions are shipped directly to your door. It's that easy. Save time and money. Remember, it's easier to keep the hair you have than to replace the hair you've lost. So act now. Order now. Our listeners get a free trial month of hymns for just $5 a day right now while supplies last. See the website for full details. This would cost you hundreds if you went to a doctor or pharmacy. Go to 4 slash TMOS. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash TMOS. Don't wait. 4 slash TMOS. This is one for the ages today. I'll tell you. Everything's just kind of uh, just a... Uh, Starting from the beginning. Uh, welcome back to the show. Let me talk about the TV show yeah. I'm talking about. Uh, so uh, this time of year, I think everybody goes through the same time, uh, the same thing. It's better than it used to be uh, now that people are cord cutting, but you don't get uh, the, the content in the summer. There's you nothing on TV. You know what Carrie's been watching? Hallmark movies. And Hallmark I, say, movies. I said, why it's, are you watching these? She says, they're horrible. I said, then why are you right. watching? She says, there's nothing else on. Mm. She's Fashion watching Paradise is yeah. on. And I'm a news junkie, so watching the CNN is just crushing my soul. It's just constant, and it's just, I need something else. Then I look in the, the Red Sox, and I got into them when they were the Yankees. Then I drifted away a little bit. And, and so it's just, it's frustrating. So last night, we put on the Netflix. We go to the flicks, and we pop on on Netflix a show that I, I'm sure lots of people have watched it, but I have never seen it. And the show is called, uh, let me see. Cold Justice. Mm. Have any of you ever seen it? Cold mm. Justice. No, I've seen Cold Mountain, but not the series uh, Cold Justice. Cold Justice. Let me make sure I get all my facts right, because I just, this is not one of those days. What kind of show is it? Get, it is a reality Cold crime Justice. show. Okay. It is, a is it set in the it, Wild it, Wild West? It, it is absolutely, it's phenomenal. And uh, it's on Oxygen. I think they're the ones that bought, bought, purchased the rights. Okay. Uh, it used to be on, I think, TNT. They, they were on it. But it is fantastic. It really, really is. Uh, Kelly Siegler is the kind of the star of the show. Mm -hmm. I think she's a former prosecutor. And uh, it's just, let me yeah, explain what they here. do. This is what they do. Uh, it's been around since 2013. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the new episodes or whether well, they're making them anymore. It? I just we we went through show after show after show. And by the way, Netflix is just like oh, HBO or any seasons. of the cable. Oh my uh, the, god! Wow, really? Netflix is just like. Uh, don't you find this, Rob? When you're going through like a Netflix, it's just like all the other channels. <laughs> you, you you have to like go ten hours before you find something. Yes. You're like, what are you Who laughing shows at? Shows on oxygen. Yeah, he but it's that. not. But it was on TNT. It was on TNT. Let me, uh, hold on. Let me just. Yeah, Netflix, the only thing that I'll give Netflix, it's easier to navigate than Hulu. You can find something Very on true. Netflix if you know what you're looking for. But uh, if you're just browsing, you'll be gone well, for days. I'm not An saying. An unscripted crime series originally broadcast on TNT and currently on Oxygen. Let me tell you what they do. This is not a dateline. This is not a drama called Cold Case. This is Cold Justice. These two ladies, one is a crime scene investigator, and the other lady is a uh, an investigator and a prosecutor. The two uh, people are Kelly Siegler and Yolanda McClary. I think Yolanda uh, is a she's a veteran of the uh, El uh, Las Vegas Police Department, and she was the inspiration for Catherine uh, Marge Helgenberger's character. Oh, yeah. really? In Yolanda CSI, in CIS, attractive CSI, and Yolanda. Well, you should watch the show. But anyway, oh, uh, the the. <laughs> Do they ugly her up? What do you mean? No, no, stop it. Stop it. No. So I'm watching this show. And How what old they is do, her dad? Hold on. Will you, stop, will you behave? Will you behave for the love of Christ? Uh, so anyway. How old is Let me tell dad? you about this show. This show is fantastic. Uh, as of April 2018, the team has helped generate 35 arrests and 18 convictions. In addition to four confessions, they go back to the 90s. They go back to the early 2000s. They hold on. They waltz into a town. Right. They found. They find these cold cases. They help the detectives. They are welcomed in these police departments by these investigators that are have have you know been uh, laboring over these cases for years. And what they do, the cornerstone of the show, is investigative technique. By revisiting it, some people confess, some people, uh, witnesses come forward that weren't likely to do it back then, but primarily DNA and the technology of DNA that exists today, they are able to go back and reopen these cases, and it's real, real, real. You get their wins, you get their losses, and it is an education 
in police work, in how police work goes. And it's also soul-crushing when you watch an episode where the DNA is inconclusive oh, and you know, you know that a guy is going to get away with murder. It is fascinating. And, one I, hour and show? I've never heard of it. It's a, uh, I think it's a one-hour show. And yeah, do they just do show. one case per episode? So it's like That's a total the immersion? And on so the Netflix, every episode course, tells, a, tells a story. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's really incredible. Uh, I don't know why this show is not has not gone wider. Uh, it is so incredible. It uh, it's just it's stunningly. Uh, if you like police dramas, if you like reality police stories, you know, like the Dateline sure. stuff. Watch this and tell me what you think because this show to me, I've gotten an education every time. We've knocked out maybe seven of them in the last three days. They're wow. incredible. Really, I've got yes, a question if if you don't mind. Yes. Well, what I don't oh, like about no, no good can come of that. But go here ahead. we go. Yes. What I, what I don't don't like about the 2020s or the Datelines is that I know like I can figure out kind of what's coming along, but it's commercial right. break after commercial break after Absolutely. commercial break. For, yeah. Yes, for what I essentially we can bank that the guy did it or the girl did it, and it's already laid out. Yeah, yeah, and it's and they know what the results are, and they're not doing anything to help get the results. What they're doing is they're it's a format for commercials where it's like. Well, Becky didn't realize that she was going into the other room. So what was Phil doing on that hill that night? You know what they do with Cold Justice? Yes. Cold Justice, they go in. They, 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 you get the uh, layout of the crime and what happened. Then they visit with the family. Families inevitably want this justice. Then they go to the police department. Then they put a storyboard up with Ooh. all the suspects. Ooh. They eliminate the different suspects. Wow. Then they test for DNA. They interview some. They do exhaustive investigating of these. And when they get somebody and they put somebody away, it is phenomenal. Because well, in you're many invested. cases, you're, invested you're dealing in the story. with 15 years 15 years where this family has waited for justice, and it is incredible. And these ladies are, I'll tell you, if you're sitting down across from them, you're in a heap of trouble <laughs> because these ladies know what they're, their names are. Yolanda McClary and Kelly Siegler. And uh, now I don't know what the status, the current status of the show. In October 2014, TNT announced it had greenlighted a spinoff of Cold Justice. The new series titled Cold Justice Sex Crimes began in July 31st, 2015. It's hard to find this. It's really, really hard I'm to find this. I'm shocked that of the three of us, we had never heard of it before a few days I, ago. I, after seeing um, the actors, yeah. I believe that I have peaked in. They're in not the actors. They're real people. They're investigators. Well, the people on the show. The, the people on the show. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I, are you sure that they're looking at real crimes, or they're yes, just yes? They're yes. They're it's okay. real crime. I just want of to course it's real. It yeah. looks like it's a TV real. show. Yeah. To Oscar, me. Oscar no, this, thinks you're watching Columbo. No, I'm not. No, uh, uh, Cold Justice is an unscripted true crime series originally broadcast on TNT, currently on Oxygen. The series, produced by Dick Wolf, follows former prosecutor okay. Kelly Siegler and a team of investigators as they reopen unsolved murder cases with the consent and assistance of local law enforcement. Mm. And that's the key, because with the local law enforcement, a lot of the interviews they do with these witnesses, they bring them into like this uh, th this GMC Yukon, and mm. they'll sit with a camera with a GoPro oh, on wow. the dashboard and that's how they'll get there it, it's it's stunning so you can uh, watch it out of order too because every episode yeah. is self-contained listen to the statistics guys think about this when you watch your date lines yeah or you know uh in April I read this before 35 arrests and 18 convictions in addition to four confessions three guilty pleas mm. and three murder convictions this is this is good stuff. So it, you learn about it. You learn. You really learn about police work. You learn about their frustrations. And you know, I love cops. I've always loved oh, cops. Yeah. And so it's fascinating to me how they do this. And man, oh man, when they get these guys. But when the guys walk, it's it's horrific. Oh, so it's they walk truly, on a few truly, episodes. Oh, it's got to oh, break your heart. They walked on My one. God. Uh, a murderer of a mother and a six-year-old girl, mm. and they had him in the car, and they have no conclusive DNA and because uh, the primary reason for this one situation was because the DNA back in the day yeah. when protocols weren't established, uh, you have like five people's DNA on, uh, on, on the murder weapon, and it's just uh, it's horrible. It's mm. horrible. But when they get the win and they go back to the family, and they're able to tell the family they got justice for their loved one. That's great. It's a special show. How this show has not become a bigger hit, I do not know. I don't know where what, what its future is. I'm trying to see whether uh, they're making new episodes or not. 
Uh, but, but there's this, been uh, for a few seasons. So five you might, seasons. You must have. You meant you have a fourth season watch. premiered on July twenty second, twenty seventeen. On April twenty third, twenty eighteen. That's this year. Oxygen announced the series had been renewed for a fifth season, Boom, bam. which which premiered just this past August fourth. So I might actually so skip current. ahead. And yeah. Go back. yeah, yeah. And I'm watching what I'm doing on Netflix is I'm watching the old ones yeah. that are are almost ready to expire. Yeah. But uh, you can uh, you can watch this. So. There's my recommendation for you. Love it. It's a big TV recommendation, and keep them coming Old to me because I'm always looking for something. Good thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, Jack, Rob, how old are you? Anyway, so well, I'm, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I can tell you how old my dad is. Speaking of investigative, yeah. <laughs> Yay, Leslie. <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll take a break and come back with more fun and more thrills on the Michael Mary. Backstage pass. You asked, and we listened. Now you can listen on Spotify. In our never-ending effort to make it easier for you to access our content, The Mike O'Mara Show can now be streamed on Spotify, just another platform that gives you full TMOS access. So go grab the show and listen, and spread the word. The more you know, the more we grow. TMOS on Spotify. Grab it. Welcome back to The Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by our bonus packages, ladies and gentlemen. It's just about fall. You know what that means. Mm -hmm. It's time for pumpkin spice thing. And what not. <laughs> yes, America has nutmeg on the brain. And you can tickle your taste buds with a TMOS bonus pecan. That's correct. Carve your pumpkin into Jacko laughter with a weekly uncensored commercial free sixth hour of autumn spice TMOS fun. Each and every week we squash your sadness. Aren't you excited to hear it? Get it, pumpkins? <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> you get access to all of our bonus content it's so funny you're going to act like a September alarm clock and fall back <laughs> laughing <laughs> apple peaches pumpkin pie who's not ready holler <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> subscribe today hi honey hi. how you doing oh. how's it going hi Carla uh, Subscribe today, and Can you'll you be ask known her as. How old her uh, father? Is? No. <laughs> Subscribe today, and you'll be known as the Fly Guy with Fly Pies. <laughs> Just go to mikeomarashow.com and click the bonus banner. Makes a great gift. Spread some cheer, bonus show style. Get happy by giving back. So please quit sucking and pass the cinnamon. <laughs> Thank pass you, Arch. the cinnamon. <laughs> God Almighty. News. News. Oh, I got a lot of stuff in news you may not need. Good. There's a lot of lists that I got, but they were interesting lists. I like lists. Uh, every day of your life, you probably say at least one word or phrase that you have no idea came from a movie. Oh. Uh, here are nine examples. Toast. We've all used that. Hey, man, they're toast. Oh, yeah, it means uh, they're dead or spent. This chick is toast. That's what it comes from. That's a classic Bill Murray line. From Ghostbusters in 1984. He improvised it, by the way. The line in the script was, I'm going to turn this guy into toast, which I doubt would have caught on the same way. You know, this guy is toast. Wow, so I didn't know it. that. That's yep. great. Hmm. My bad. Oh. I hate it. It's one we all hate on the yeah, show. Yeah, I don't like that. Do you know what it's from? Um, I don't. Clueless, the movie in 1995. Linguists say the phrase was probably about 10 years old by then, but it was used mostly in the world of playground basketball. It was clueless that made it mainstream. So these are the phrases or words or expressions that may have been around, but the movies... This is movie launched it, yeah. I loved Clueless. I loved that movie. Bucket List. Uh, that's from the Bucket List in 2007. This one is used so much it seems like it's been around forever, but it hasn't. It was invented by the movie's screenwriter... Justin Zackham when he made his own bucket list in 1999. Wow, it seems like it's been wow. that just doesn't that. seem yeah. right, does it? Yeah. Yeah. Who gets weird. the royalties? Uh, Big who bucket. Knows? Mm. Gaslighting. Uh, I know that from, one. Yeah, you do. All yeah. right, go ahead. That's from the Charles Boyer Ingrid Bergman movie Gaslight, which was based on a actually a play called Angel Street, where a guy drives his wife crazy by uh, changing the uh, light uh, the gas light. And so when you try to drive someone crazy, you're gaslighting them. Uh, Gaslighting was from the 1938 play Gaslight, which was made into a movie twice in the 1940s. And as Rob wow. said, it refers to the act of manipulating someone into questioning their own sanity. You hear it a lot nowadays in the Trump era. Mm -hmm. era. Mm -hmm. era ra, ra. Uh, the Dark Side. 
No, that's obvious. That's an easy one. The uh, Star Wars, 1979. Right. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Catfish is from the documentary Catfish in 2010. The movie's about a guy who realizes the woman he fell in love with online has actually been using a fake identity, and that's how uh, mm-hmm. we still use it today. MILF. Uh-huh. We, we've all used is it. You know what from, that one's from? Is that from... A, is, did American Pie launch that? You got it. American Ooh. Pie, 1999. Stifler's mom. Uh, uh, this went definitely category. around before the movie, but the makers of the list say this is where it was popularized. Yippee Kaye. Would you like to know where that one's from? Oh, I know where that's from. Where? D- Die Hard. Die Hard. 1988. There have been uh, plenty of variations on the phrase going back to old westerns and cowboy songs, but the actual Yippee Kaye seems to have only shown up in Gene Autry's 1942 song, Cowboy Serenade. That's before Bruce Willis. Uh, but he added the uh, the MF. I was going to say, did Gene Autry say the full phrase? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, he was, when he was trying to give a pep talk to the California Angels. I just love these lists today. That's They're great. good, and that's why I'm putting them on the show. Only a select few human beings can say they've achieved the EGOT, meaning they've won an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. But there's a surprising number of people who are just one statue away. I'll blast through them as ah. soon as possible. Julie Andrews needs a Tony. Harry Belafonte needs an Oscar. Cher needs a Tony. Common, Common needs a Tony. He has three Grammys, an Oscar, and an Emmy. Uh, Viola Davis needs a Grammy. She has an Oscar, two Tonys, and an Emmy. Ron Howard needs a Tony. He has two Oscars, two Emmys, and a Grammy. Jeremy Irons needs a Grammy. Uh, the, now, most of these actors probably will never get the Grammy. Right. That's yep. probably the Well, way. I don't know. Uh, I would love to see, like, uh, Ron Howard do a turn in Fiddler on the Roof <laughs> and get a yeah. Tony. Well, you can also get a Tony from producing, right? Yeah. Yeah, or absolutely. writing. Or writing. Or directing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Elton John needs an Emmy. James Earl Jones needs an Oscar. Wow. Quincy Jones needs an Oscar. He has 27 Grammys. Can you believe that? Wow. Uh, Jessica Lange needs a Grammy. Probably not going to happen. Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. Needs an Oscar. Wow. Wow. What John she- Legend uh, needs an Emmy. Bette Midler, an Oscar. Liza Minnelli, an Emmy. Lynn Manuel Miranda needs an Oscar. He has three Tonys, three Grammys, and an Emmy. Helen Mirren needs a Grammy. Let's get her that Grammy. Yeah. Uh, Cynthia Nixon needs an Oscar. Well, she wants a, uh, a place in the governor's that's, mansion. Yeah, that's what she wants. She wants to be voted into that. Al Pacino Grammy. A lot of them need Grammys. That's why this... Uh, you know, but that's probably the easiest to get because you can get spoken word Grammys. I never thought uh, about Martin that. Martin Scorsese yeah. needs a Tony. Barbara Streisand a Tony. Uh, Lily Tomlin an Oscar. Dick Van Dyke an Oscar. And Kate Winslet needs a Tony. She might be... That might be the most likely. I could yeah. see her doing some Broadway. So there you have it. I can only that's, think uh, of uh, the, the, the EGOTs that pop to mind. Rita Moreno has the yep. EGOT, and I know Mel Brooks has the EGOT as well. Does he have the EGOT? Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, that's very cool. <laughs> There's a restaurant called the Montana Club. It's in Missoula, Montana, and they have a deal where if you eat there on your birthday, you get your age as a percent off discount. Mm. Oh, cool. So if you're turning 29, you get 29% off. Pretty good deal. Better for me than most people. That's true. Yeah, practically a free meal for me, but <laughs> there's somebody that's got it better. That discount has worked out great for a woman named Helen Self. Helen! Ooh. Helen just turned 109. Oh, oh. So oh. when she went to the restaurant, she didn't just get her meal free. She also got 9% of the cost back in cash. That's great. She, she has actually been going there for her birthday every year since she turned 100. I love this story. <laughs> that one is great. And here's the very smart owner who's getting all this great publicity all the way out in Montana. The owner says that even though she found a hell of a loophole on the discount, <laughs> mm. he is happy to take care of her every day. Year. So cool. What's the That's name of the great. restaurant? The Montana Club in Missoula, Montana. I love cool that. people out. Yeah. I like Montanans. Cool people out there. People have to keep coming up with new terms for all the different ways people mess with your mind and in modern dating. Here's the newest one. It's called curving. Has anybody uh, oh, heard of curving? No. No. It's uh, it's when someone probably isn't into you, but instead of ghosting you. They do keep texting with you, but just with almost no effort or passion. (laughs) Oh, wow. How passive aggressive. Like if you text someone a lot of messages and they respond back a few hours later with just the thumbs up emoji, that's curving. And it might be even worse than ghosting. Oscar, I think you and I are guilty of curving. Yeah, Oscar curves I think we me curve all the time. a lot of people. I and, curve all but the time. I th- we are off the hook. We're not trying to sleep with each other. We no, are we're just trying to communicate with our coworkers. Yeah, yeah we are right. confirming that we have received the message. Right. 
Uh, Oscar and I are the kings of the thumbs up emoji. Yeah, I'll, uh, I just anyway. confirm. That's all. Okay, I that's yeah. good. Yeah. Yes, but the thumbs up. Uh, that's it. Not trying to take like you that. out for dinner. You could. And now a little something something. Uh, there's a new study that just started in England. England. Uh, where England can kiss my ass. No, that's the <laughs> Jerry Lee Lewis movie. Uh, England had this. Uh, these researchers. They wanted to figure out if taking small do- doses of LSD will help people work better. The theory is that a little bit will make you more creative, productive, and even focused. For now, it's just a theory, but this study will hopefully show if it's true. And if it is, who knows? Uh, Maybe one day down the road, you'll walk into your job and someone will hand you a tab of acid every day. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. On a uh, related note, Adrian Garcia said, so you're telling me there's a chance. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) We will take a break and come back with more fun on the Mike O'Mara Show with Rob's Magic Audio Vault. I'm 59. America (laughs) was founded on balance. Two houses of legislature. The two-party system. And here at Political Persuasions, we have the two sides of O'Mara. The calm mic. I am open-minded. And the burning liberal mic. It's crap. That's what I do. I ran. It doesn't make any sense to me. Together, they coexist in Mike's brain and right here on Political Persuasions. It's about the gun. They clash. They argue. Tough. Beans. I, the fact <laughs> is, that, with a little help from me, Chris Freitz, they provide a balanced seesaw of sanity. So how many people shoot for food? Can somebody Talk please pass the blood pressure the medication. Sec- <laughs> you know, Speaker of the House. Hey, Come on. Political what, Persuasions. What Download it this Thursday and every Thursday at politicalpersuasions.com. I'm going to die. And wherever fine podcasts are found. We're all going to die. And someday you <laughs> are as well. And God bless America. It makes me want to throw up. Uh, when they're that good, they have legs. That is a great <laughs> promo. And it's all real, folks. Uh, check out Political Persuasions. Uh, I don't think we'll have anything to talk about this week. Uh, welcome back to the Michael Mary Show, brought to you by our Fruitcake Futures. It's not too late to get a real Rob Spiewak fruitcake. We're winding it down, though. All you have to do is visit tmosfruitcake.com, and that's a very good thing, Rob Spiewak. I got a message from Richard Crawford. Now, that name might not mean anything to you, but Richard Crawford that. was the first winner of a fruitcake on our show ever. He won wow. the first fruitcake mm-hmm. on the first time we did the 12 Days of Fruitcakes, and he writes me, Rob, I received the first fruitcake that you ever gave away. As I said then, I will repeat it now. Even better than advertised. I would heartily endorse the Rob Spiewak fruitcake anytime, any place, and at any price. Wow. P. That's S. awesome. You mentioned yes. Sean King the other day. She was allegedly banging the baseball coach. Your pal, Richard Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> Friday, September 7th. Two, Two. days Two day. left. Listen, Two. we're not. We're, did we mention we're not giving them away this year? No, no. That's, that's it. Mm-mm. That we are not giving. So we're not having the twelve days of fruitcake. No. The no. show evolves. The show grows. We we are not doing that. So if you want to get one, you've only got two days left. That's an official deadline. Get yours right now. You must act now at tmosfruitcake.com. Go to the Michael Mara Show website. It's right there. Click on the fruitcake. You'll get it. Invest in your fruitcake future now and ensure the ongoing success of TMOS. Visit tmosfruitcake.com. Do it today. The future is now. Let's open up the audio vault for today. Wednesday, September 5, 2018. Rob Spiewak. Oh, Brittany. She's finally winding up her European tour, and she's had a several instances in England where she's come out and thanked the wrong town. We did it last month. She did it I, again. I sympathize with her. I totally sympathize Well, I mean, with a her. lot of England looks alike, I'm sure. But, uh, <laughs> Brittany, you're not in Birmingham. You're in Blackpool. Mm-hmm. And when you say that, you're going to get booed, and she does. Oh, they didn't like that. I love the fact that she's going with, I'm getting emotional on the crowd. Like, Boo. <laughs> We're not Birmingham. We're Blackpool, you tat. So embarrassing. <laughs> so in it's New York, tough. they're playing the uh, U.S. Open, the tennis tournament. And I have never seen this happen. This happened during the quarterfinal. They have, like in all sporting venues, luxury suites. Yes. And the luxury suites open to the court. Okay. They were being so loud with their drinking and partying in the luxury suite, they oh, were no. asked, to tone it down. Please. It's on the top tier. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Someone up uh, in the upper deck having a loud conversation. Can we hold off for just a few more games, if you don't mind? 
Please, someone right in the middle of the service motion. Do not make any noise. You imagine that? that? No, people are such a Last call. Shut them down. Yeah, a few officials going up there right now. They actually sent officials to the luxury suite to tell them to pipe down. Because they were so about themselves. We're at the party. Yeah. We're at the party. Close the glass. Close the glass. If you're going to side note right here. So break it down. Yeah. I stopped at a little roadside stand yesterday. I'm getting me a little lobster roll, right? Nice. I, I am, there is a couple there. I didn't say anything to them, but I put my order in at the roadside stand. You guys have been there. Tracy's. That place oh, yeah, is yeah, right yeah, yeah, there yeah. on the side, right? So I walk over and I sit down on the table. As I'm walking over to the picnic table just to sit down and wait for my order, this guy is coming away from his wife. And the conversation, all I heard was just like, well, what? I want to get the fat. <laughs> all right. But then I'm on it now. And then she continues with her friend that was there, and her tone was, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> and I really, <laughs> I really wanted to say something, but I didn't continue. I'm sorry, I just had to. This is there. exciting to me. A couple years ago, when the Rolling Stones put out their mm-hmm. blues album, I think it was called Lonesome and Blue, and they sounded like a real band again. Yesterday on Twitter, without any explanation, Mick Jagger put up a small video that said, working on some new tunes. So there might be a Stones album in the offing. But how about this? Mick Jagger, well past the age of 70, still killing it on the harmonica. Reds on the east side, bed bugs uptown. I'm in tatters. My world's in tatters, should you be? You know that Bill Wyman Shatters. thought that at least two of them would be dead by now, and he hates oh. that he left the band. He hates it. He missed out on four big LPs by leaving. Yeah. Way to go. That's a way. shame. But he does sound good, and mm-hmm. I'll buy that record. The Blue, Blue and Lonesome was a great album. It was really I good. I never heard it. Like, just a bare bones blues they rock. They recorded it, it, I think, in two and a half days. They did really? like 12. I'll send, uh, I'll, uh, send you a link. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't share I know how that works. <laughs> I know how that works. Yes. <laughs> Brown sugar. <laughs> How come you did? <laughs> so, should you find yourself lucky enough to be dating Nicki Minaj, I hope you're up to the mm. challenge. Oh, because this is, so, this is nasty. She says she requires sex three times a night. Three times a night. When I see you, three times a night. And also, as graphic as this is, I love it even better that the person that she's telling it to is Ellen, <laughs> who could not be any more uncomfortable with it. <laughs> so, put that into the factor. Three times a night. When I see you three times a night. Okay. <laughs> and if you can't hang, goodbye. I'm really. I'm not wasting my time. Yeah. That's right, Nikki. So when much When you work. say three times, is it spread oh, out yeah. over the night or just three times right away? It has to be, well, no more than a half an hour between each thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> no more than a half hour. And then I understand you don't enjoy being touched or cuddled afterwards. I hate cuddling after. I hate all, every man who likes cuddling, it's like, you know what it is, Ellen, it's like, once I get mine, if I feel really, really great, leave me alone. Go away. Go and make me some food or a sandwich or something. Go make a sandwich. Yeah, make her a sandwich. A Nicki Minaj sandwich. That's just, uh, boy, for some reason, I'm not turned on. I'm really not turned on at all. <laughs> that, is that before or after the sandwich? <laughs> the guys. Yeah. Three guys. times. <laughs> <laughs> no All right, this uh, is, sorry, my boobies came out. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is such a great trick because what these guys did, they came strong and they went in a big way. Two uh, Asian young men. I'm and, still laughing about Nicki Minaj. I know, I know. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> Three hey, Nicki, times. do you know where this story takes place? <laughs> where? Mcmcdonald's. Mm. Uh, uh, oh, this is a great story. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Oh my Go ahead. God. I didn't mean to Okay, right. uh, two Asian guys were at a, having lunch at a Houston McDonald's, and they looked around. There's these big posters all around the you restaurant. You know the murals they have in yeah. McDonald's at times when uh-huh. you walk and in? Almost yeah. every ethnicity, sex, everything was represented, but not mm-hmm. Asians. So they went and took a picture of themselves holding a hamburger and french fries and had it blown up five feet by five feet. This thing is massive. Funny. Then they That's snuck funny. in. They went to a um, they went to a, a consignment store and bought a McDonald's shirt, like an employee shirt. <laughs> snuck in and hung it up. <laughs> Two months later, it's I still love stuff like it's this. still there. We were just eating a McDonald's one day. We looked around and we saw other 
posters around, but they didn't have any Asians. It had like other races, but Asians. So we felt like it was our duty to put ourselves up there. We took the picture. We added some fries and the, the circles, which the other, the other posters had, and added the logo in there. Uh, I dressed up as a McDonald's employee. <laughs> And it was a big poster, so it was kind of huge. I should get it in without being noticed. Um, I posted it on Twitter last night saying, like, it's been 51 so, days. It's gone viral. Yeah. yeah. I just hope uh, that they would kind of ask us to be, like, representative models for them, like, for Asian <laughs> men. <laughs> that would be insane if they did. That would be, like, a dream come true. It's so great because they have captured in the picture, they're, like, walking down the street eating McDonald's and, food and, and laughing. And, it's and, and, perfect. It's, 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 it's in the same vein as all the other. Like non-offensive shots. There's just fries and burgers. If People McDonald's have a good time. is smart, okay, I know. If they, look, you know, there's the two ways this goes. Right. You either get a hip person that wants to ha get the joke, or you're going to get the. Well, we don't I'll want do to that. encourage everybody to oh, come that's in. Essentially that vandalism. Guy, that's essentially yeah, exactly. vandalism. Well, exactly. screw you and your vandalism. I, I hope that doesn't happen. I hope they embrace these guys. Put them on their posters in every store. What a prank. That's great. It was so yeah. great. Fantastic. Anyway, that's Fantastic. your Magic Audio Vault. Oh, Have a yeah, great right. Wednesday, everybody. That's it, we people. It. Woo, that's woo. what did. We survive. Uh, thanks to Leslie Akendo for coming on the show. She is the video editor at Podcast Village, doing a great job. Leslie, keep it up. Glad to have you part of the team. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Mike O'Mara Show. If you have a message for our Tuesday mailbag, send it to Rob with two Bs at MikeOmaraShow.com. Mailing address, TMOS Box 32101, Washington, D.C., 2007. Remember, voting the engine of freedom and democracy and requires your participation. Please remember to register and vote. It really does matter. Getting close. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Mike O'Mara inviting you to join us for the best part of your day, the Mike O'Mara Show. Bye-bye, everybody. So long. Ciao, ciao. Before you go, please make a mental note. Today's show was made possible by the TMOS bonus packages. You can secure yours right now by going to MikeOmeraShow.com and clicking on the red bonus banner. Buy it or give it. Either way, you're helping out TMOS, and that's a good thing. Thank you, and go in peace. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Thank you.